Setting up a Facebook business manager is one of the most important steps in order to start running ads across Facebook and Instagram. With a meta business suite or a business manager, you'll be able to aggregate and bring in all of your Facebook pages, all of your Instagram accounts, and all of your ad accounts together to manage it all under one roof. You'll be able to easily manage and create ads for all of your different accounts or businesses, and also track what's working best with different performance insights. And the best part is setting up a Facebook business manager is super, super simple. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that, going through all the steps right with you here to set up your own business manager and get started. First thing you wanna do is come over to business.facebook.com and it's gonna bring you to a page that looks like this. Now, if you're already signed in with your Facebook account, then you will likely have to go and create a business manager. But for me, I'm not logged in yet. I'm using a test dummy account. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in with my Facebook account and get started on the next steps. So I'm gonna enter my info here. Awesome, so now that I have logged in, as you can see here, the dashboard has changed a little bit and we can go ahead and create our account. So that's what I'm gonna go do now. Click on create an account here. And this is where you're gonna create your business account in the business manager. And essentially what this is, is it's an umbrella that's gonna hold all of your business assets, all of your ad accounts, and all of your Facebook pages related to that particular business. So when you have your business manager account, you can have multiple business manager accounts and each of them are typically gonna be related to separate businesses. So if you have a business with different pages, different ad accounts that you wanna keep separate, then you can create multiple different business manager accounts to manage all of those. So when creating your first business manager account, what you wanna do is just enter the info related to your business. This will be visible across all of Facebook as it says, and it shouldn't contain any special characters. So just name the actual business that you're gonna be doing. So for me, I'm just gonna do this as a stream digital there. And then we have my name and then I'm just gonna enter my business email. So I'm gonna answer the same email. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on submit now. And as you can see, we're gonna load this up and it's gonna go ahead and create our business manager account. Awesome, so now as you can see, we have created the business manager accounts. And I just have to confirm with my email address in order to be able to receive full access to this account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on done and it's gonna load up and bring me to the back end here, which is the business.facebook.com slash home slash accounts, which is the business manager in the back. Now I'm gonna quickly go ahead and confirm my email. Awesome, so I have now confirmed my email. So I'm just gonna go back here and just refresh this page. Now something that I want to quickly note is that I actually uh, just created a test dummy account for this. So as you're gonna notice here, my account is gonna be restricted right, right off the bat because it is a brand new Facebook account. I don't have any friends. I don't have any profile picture or anything like that. Um, I'm just a brand new account. And so the business manager is gonna be restricted. I'm not gonna be able to advertise. If you have a Facebook account with a lot of history, then you shouldn't have any problems here and connecting your Facebook page and everything like that. But for me, again, this is a brand new account. So that's why uh, you're gonna be seeing this and I'm gonna have some errors as I go through these next steps. So once we're in the back end here, as you can see, we have a couple of different options to look at. So let's go top left first here. And you can see this is our business manager account. So if I open this up, as you can see, this is where our business manager account will be. And then you have the option to create additional business manager accounts if you so choose for different business assets. Let's say you have a different Facebook page and you have multiple businesses for each of those. Then what you can do is just create different business managers and connect all of your different pages and assets to those different business managers and manage them all from the same place. So that is where your business managers will be. Next thing, you have your ads manager account. You have your ads reporting and events manager. You also have this drop down right here to all tools where you can see your business setting, your ads manager, event manager, commerce, ads reporting, apps, brand and safety, all these different things are gonna be right here as well. So you can go through and easily find all of those. Now from here, as you can see, we don't have any ad accounts, so we don't have any pages and it's prompting us to go to the business settings. So you can go to the business settings from right here, or you can drop this, do this drop down and click on business settings right here to open that up. And this is gonna bring you to the back end, which is business.facebook.com slash settings. And this is a page I recommend you to bookmark. This is where I manage all of the different assets for my agency, for all the different clients that we manage. This is the pretty much the holy grail, the back end of Facebook Business Manager, where you want to really see and to get full visibility over everything within your business. So let's go through and break down each of these. First of all, we have people. So as you can see, I'm the only one, I just created this account. And so I have access right here. If you wanted to add additional employees, team members, whatever it might be to this account, external freelancers that are gonna help you with advertising. This is where you can actually do that. You can go ahead and add in their email right here. Let's say I wanted to add in like at jetstreamdigital.io. Okay, I can do that. I can go next right here. And then what you can do is you can select and view this. You can add them to specific assets, right? To control everything. And then you can open this up here and they can be financed. This is gonna add them to your business manager right here. So you can either add them as uh, an admin with full control 
or you can change some of the, the restrictions there. So that is people. That's how you add them to your business manager accounts. Next thing we is we're going to go to partners right here. So partners is essentially what you do if you are an agency or you want to give an agency access to you. So you can have a partner here who you can share assets with. So this is essentially if you want to add in an agency to your accounts or in another external party, you can add their business manager ID and give them access to manage your business manager accounts and all the assets within your business manager account. So that's where you can do that. Then you can also request assets from a partner. So this is if you are an agency or you want to work with another business manager from your business manager, you can request access right there. Now, system users, I wouldn't worry about that. I never really personally use that. Nothing to worry about there. This is your pages now, and this is where you can go ahead and add in your pages. As you can see, because I have a brand new Facebook account, I don't currently have access to go ahead and add pages. However, this is where you want to go ahead and add your page. Very, very simple. You just click on add, and then you just search for your Facebook page name. And then you go ahead and connect that to this business manager. So go ahead and do that for all the pages that you own. Bring them into here, into your business manager. And that's the next step. Next thing, you have your ad accounts right here. So again, I'm not able to, to use or create any ad accounts right now. But if you wanted to, you go ahead and go to the ad accounts right here. And then you can go ahead and start that process. As you can see here, just looking at the business settings right here. And you can see I need to actually review this because this is a brand new business. And uh, so there's going to be some problems right here. So I'm just going to go back. So again, go ahead and create your ad accounts right here. And then you can connect those to any of the Facebook pages that you have. Next, we have our business asset groups. So again, if you are an agency and you have a lot of different assets or a lot of different brands under one roof, under your one business manager, then you can create business asset groups, which you can link and folder together all of the different assets for a particular business and then assign access to those asset groups to different people. It makes organization a lot easier. That's what that's all about. Then you have your apps. You have your Instagram account. Same thing. Go ahead and add in your Instagram account log in and that'll automatically connect your Instagram accounts for your different businesses. So go ahead and do that. And then you can also do that as well for WhatsApp accounts. Next, we have our data sources. So this is essentially like your pixels and your catalogs and, and shopping catalogs and things like that. So first of all, catalogs here, this is where you'd see your catalog if you connected your Shopify store to Facebook. This is where you can manage that. Also, you can go ahead and add in a catalog manually here as well. Whatever you need to do, this is where you go ahead and manage all of your products for that. Then you have your pixels here as well. So if you have any pixels, or you want to create a pixel, you can do that here to then add that to your website to track everything in your website. Then you also have a offline event sets, which we don't use. We have data sets, which is now pixels. So this might be where you want to actually create the pixel going forward. Facebook is kind of in a weird spot right now. So data sets and pixels are pretty much the same thing from what I can tell. And then you have your custom conversions. Uh, if you know anything about those, then you have event source groups, which we don't use, shared audiences and business creative folders, which we don't typically use much of those. Next, we have your brand safety and suitability. So this is where you can go ahead and add in your domain, which I highly recommend doing. It improves tracking and it just verifies to Facebook that you do in fact own this business and gives you a little bit more legitimacy. So I'd recommend you doing that by going ahead and creating that domain that you need to actually access for your business. And then you have your block list as well. So this is where you can block different data coming in from your pixels or your tracking sources that you don't want for your business. Next, you have registrations. I uh, wouldn't worry about that and you have integrations also really wouldn't worry about this and then you have your billing and payments so if you open this up in a new tab right here once you do go ahead and create an ad account as you can see what you can do is go and easily add in a payment method right here connect that to your ad account and then you are good to go you have your facebook pages set up with your instagram accounts with your payment method set up and then you're ready to go ahead and run ads next you also have a security sensor right here so this is where you can go ahead and set up two-factor authentication which i recommend you to do and you can also add in another admin. So I recommend you adding in, you know, your mom or your friend to your business manager account in case you don't have any of your employees or teammates, just in case you get locked out, which is kind of common with Facebook. And you can go ahead and access everything still and resolve the issues that might have been in place. You want to definitely add another admin if you get locked out and there's nothing you can do if there's no other admin. So definitely recommend doing that. And then you also have your requests here, any pending requests for your business manager account, for your pages, things like that. That'll come right here. Then you have your notifications. So you can you know, turn all these on or off depending on what you want to receive for your pages, for your ad accounts, for your WhatsApp accounts, for your catalogs, et cetera. And lastly, we have business info, which has your business info for your business manager account. This is where you can find your business manager ID. So if you want to partner with an agency, you can go ahead and share this business manager ID, and then they can easily connect to your business manager to share and access all of your assets with you and manage ad accounts on your behalf. This is also where you can connect your page. So just go edit right here and you can search for your page to connect that. And then you can also add in all of your business details. And I would recommend doing that as well. Helps Facebook identify that you are in fact the legal business owner of this business and further improves the legitimacy of your business. And so you're not going to have any issues with Facebook and disapprovals and bans, things like that. So that's pretty much everything when it comes to a business manager account and setting that up. Obviously, I wasn't able to go through all the steps with you here. 
but I hope you found this very, very valuable. Shouldn't take you too long at all to set up all those steps. And again, once you access the dashboard, get familiar with this. This is going to be your bread and butter. This is going to be exactly where you're operating out of when creating ads and things like this. So this is how to create a business manager. And that's pretty much everything on how to create a business manager account in Facebook. Hopefully it's pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward once you're actually in here. And what I'm going to do now is show you what it looks like in my own actual ad account and what everything looks like when you have it fully set up. Okay, so this is what a fully set up Facebook Business Manager account looks like. As you can see here, I have a bunch of partners on the left, which I'm gonna blur out for confidentiality reasons for the clients that we're managing. But these are all of the different partners that we work with in our Business Manager account. If I go over to the pages right here, you can see all the different pages that we also have access to within our Business Manager account. And we're able to manage ads on this behalf and run ads from these different pages. We also have all the different ad accounts that we have access to, and we're able to easily go ahead and add different people to each of these different ad accounts as we need to go ahead and manage. And using the business manager honestly just makes all of this so, so easy. And this is essentially what you're wanting to do, going ahead and adding different ad accounts, adding on all your pages, all your assets, and all your employees so that everybody can manage all these different things from the back end. So I hope you found this video helpful and we're able to set up your own business manager account and if you did find this video valuable, I would really appreciate a like and a subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the latest I'm putting out around digital marketing strategies for Facebook advertising, Google advertising, and more. I'd also recommend you checking out some other videos on my channel. I have a lot related to Facebook advertising that are sure to be helpful for you getting started and launching your first ad campaign. But until the next one, I wish you the best of luck and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.